Hello there guys, it's your boy Magma here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. As you guys know, in 1.16 we have got the ancient debris, which is the strongest material and is even stronger than diamond and is really quite rare and it can be only found in nether. And there are many ways to find it and it is really quite common to find it using beds because beds explode in nether. So using that mechanic, I have built this tunnel bore machine by using which we can dig straight holes and find netherite inside of nether. And to activate it, just take your observer block and place it right over there. And then take a bed and then go to the front of the tunnel bore and place it right over there at the edge of the netherite block. And then it starts moving by itself and repeat the process and then you can build some great tunnels easily find all the netherite you want but while using this you need to take some precautions like as you can see the lava is pouring from the top then you can just block the lava and it will go away and it won't destroy the tunnel bore other than lava on the way you can find lots of gravel and high blast resistant blocks such as blackstone and nether quartz or blocks in 1.16 there is a new glitch in which a zero clock gets stuck so just break it and replace it with a new zero block and it will work just fine and a small thing to mention this specific design was created by me so now you have seen the build let's go ahead and start with the tutorial shall we First off, dig a room roughly about on Y level 11 or 12 and then stand on a block on which your Y level should be on 11. Then dig 4 blocks in the wall and then place a bed and click it. And then you will get a room. And then go to the end and repeat the same process and you will get a larger room. When you are in survival, you have to remove all the fire from this room because it would be quite dangerous for you. But since I am in creative, I won't do that. Take some honey blocks and go to Y level 11 and then remove the blocks from underneath. Now place a honey block over there and observe facing you and then a piston in front of the observer now i am clearing up some space for us to freely create our build after that is done take your sticky piston and place it right over there facing the honey blocks now take your slime blocks and place three slime blocks right over there there and there take an observer block and place it right into the slime block so it powers the sticky piston. Place another slime block over there and then place a normal piston and place two slime blocks like that. Now place a redstone block on top of the piston and it should push away the slime block. And after that clear up some space in front of the machine. Remove any lava sources you find. Then place the ancient debris block in the same formation as I am doing right here. Now to activate the machine, place an observer block facing upwards. To test it, break a block in front of the machine and if it does not move, then break the first piece of ancient debris and now it should move. And now remove all the gravel and stuff in front of the machine. Now place a bit on the first piece of ancient debris and the flying machine should move. 
and if it is not moving then clear the bottom area and make sure no blocks are touching the slime block or the honey block and then you can repeat the process just break one block and place a bed using this machine it is really quite efficient to find lots and lots of ancient debris so there you go guys that's all the time which i've got for you today if you like it then make sure you hit that like button and if you found it useful so make sure to share it among your friends until then see you next time goodbye